hello guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'll be showing you how to make a bust here with a key o neckline so we'll be drafting out the pattern first i have my lines here already so i'll be drafting the front pattern first i'll just label my lines now i have the shoulder line the chest line the bust point line the under bust and the waistline. I placed half of the shoulder measurements on the shoulder line and on the chest line and I connected that with a straight line. Then I placed my neck width which is 4 inches and the neck depth is 4 inches as well. And I connected the neckline with a curve. I came down 1 inch from the shoulder line and I connected it to the neck width to form my shoulder slope. Then I got the midpoint of what I have there and I came in by 0 0.75 inch. On the chest line, I placed quarter of my bust circumference there and I connected that to form my arm O. I connected the three points to form my arm O. The next thing I did was to place half of my nipple to nipple measurements on the bust point line and on the waistline. Then I connected the points into a straight line. On the under bust, I placed 1.25 inches on both sides of the line. And on the waistline, I placed 1 inch on both sides of the line. Then I connected the points together with a straight ruler. I came down 1 inch from the bust point line. Then I connected the points to the under bust with my curve. Just like you see me doing. The next thing I did was to get the midpoints of what I have on my shoulder slope. I marked the midpoints, then I connected it to the bust points, just like that. The next thing I did was to determine how deep I want my neckline to be. So on the line that divides the shoulder, I came down by 7 inches from the shoulder points. And to draw my sweetheart neckline, I'm going to maintain the chest line. This is depending on how much cleavage you wish to show. You can choose to come up from your chest line or come down from your chest line, depending on how much cleavage you wish to show. So I connected that point to the chest line to draw my sweetheart neckline. Then I connected that point back to the ham O like that. Then the next thing I did was to tighten my over bust neckline. So on both sides of that line, I placed 0 0.75 inch. Then I connected that point back into the bust line, just like that. I did the same thing to the other side also. On the waistline, I placed quarter of my waist circumference and I replaced the two inches that intake. Then I connected that point to the chest line. Then the next thing I did was to place my bust dart. My bust dart is simply the difference between my front pattern and my back pattern. So my front pattern is 2 inches longer than the back. So I came down by 2 inches from the bust points at the side seam. And I connected it to the bust points line like that. So that is my bust dart. The next thing I did was to close the dart I have on the neckline. When you close that, you notice a short edge around there. You notice one. So what I'm going to do is to blend the upper line like that. So I'm going to redraw my neckline. Just like you see me doing. So that will be the new neckline. The next thing I did was to tighten my yoke so to tighten my yoke what i did was to extend the dart i have on the neckline i extended it to meet the shoulder tip like that i did that to the other side also i extended my darts to the shoulder slope so to avoid shortage on my yoke what i'm going to do is to withdraw my arm o so i measured what i have on my darts i have 1.5 inches there so what I did was to place the 1.5 inches out like that and I withdraw 
the neckline I connected the 1.5 inches mark back into the neckline like that so I'm going to redraw my arm home I'm going to follow the extension like that so that would be the new arm o so I'm going to cut out now I'll cut out the yoke part first so just follow the way I'm cutting out so I'm just going to reblend that line like that can you see so I just removed the yoke part first and I'll cut out the bustier parts then I slash the bust darts like so I close the bust darts with my masking tape then I blend the side line You can see the neckline is aligning now so i'll set that aside and i'll work on the yoke so i'm going to close the dots i have on the yoke to close the dots i'm going to slash one side of the dots like so like you see me doing then i'll place it over to the other side like that the other dots i'm just going to use my masking tape to close that up so this is what I have. The next thing I'll do now is to draw out my key O neckline on the yoke. So this depends on how open you want your key O to be. You can choose to come down by 2 inches or 1.5 inches from your neckline there. But for me, I came down by 2.5 inches. Then you will also determine where you want the key O to stop. I want mine to stop just at the dart line. So what I'll do is to connect that point to meet my dart line. Just like you see me doing. So that is how much I want my keyhole to be. So I'm going to cut that out. So this is how it's going to look like. And I label this as my yoke. So I'm going to set this aside and I'll work on the back pattern. So I have my center back here. All my measurements will be starting from that point. I have the shoulder line, the chest line, and the waist line. Remember the back waist line is 2 inches shorter than the front waist line. The back waist line is 15.5 while the front waist line is 17.5. I placed half of the shoulder measurements on the shoulder line and the chest line. Then I connected that into a straight line. Then I place my neck width of 4 inches and the back neck depth is 1 inch. And I connected the point with a curve. Then I came down 1 inch from the shoulder line. And I connected to the neck width to form my shoulder slope. Then I got the midpoint of what I have there and I came in by 0 0.5 inch. I placed cutter of the bust circumference on the chest line. Then I connected the points together to form my arm O. Then I placed half of the bust pan measurements on the chest line and the waist line. And I connected that into a straight line. So to mark out my darts, on the waist line, I came in by half inch on both sides of the line. And I connected it to the chest line. To eliminate zipper bulge, I came in by one inch from the center back like that and I connected it to the chest line so that would be the new waist line so on the waist line I'll place cut out the waist circumference plus the one inch for that I'm going to replace it back there so I'll connect that point to meet the chest line and that will be all for the drafting of the back pattern I'm going to cut out now. I'll be adding the necessary seam allowances to the fabric. So that will be all. So I'm going to cut this out on fabric. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how to sew your bustier with key O neckline. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, share and subscribe to my channel. 
and i will see you in the next one bye